past several weeks one of the greatest acts of deception and misrepresentation about public schools has been committed through the film uh, uh, Waiting for Superman and the uh, media campaign showing uh, the follow-ups to it as well. The movie director and the narrator blame and depict teachers and teacher unions as the villains and charter schools, mayoral control, and corporate-style superintendents as the heroes who can save public education. While Waiting for Superman admits only one out of five charter schools are succeeding, it advocates for more of them. The film has nothing to say about the billionaires funding Waiting for Superman and funding hip charter schools and the Harlem Children's Zone charter schools, which are both featured in the film prominently. Moreover, education reformers Jeffrey Canada and Michelle Reed, also featured prominently in the film, are out of touch and detached, presenting falsehoods, arrogance, and a dictatorial attitude as the way forward. Fact is that only 17% of charter schools are doing better, as good as, or better than public schools. Fact is that the most successful states in education are those that have the most dense unionization of teachers. Fact is that countries that are at the top of the heap in education are 100% unionized, Finland and Singapore and South Korea. So we're very worried and we agree with representatives of this community that if this film, which is sort of a bump steer in the wrong direction, is not opposed, then our superintendent and our school board may actually go in the directions advocated in this film, which would be a tremendous disservice to our students. Uh, our kids will do well in life not if they have high test scores, but if they love learning. This film says love and learning doesn't matter, only test scores in preparing uh, students to be uh, obedient employees. We know that the real solution is that parents and educators and community activists and business people and politicians and anyone else who claims to be seriously concerned about the problem uh, need to get together at one table, bring their best ideas, and let us develop a comprehensive plan and then get up out of our plush offices and go to work in terms of developing that plan. CDR has been very alarmed with uh, the increasing number of students who have been given the label of learning disabled when really they just don't learn in a way that businesses and adults feel that students should learn in that one particular way. My name is Rosemary Rivera. I'm a parent and a grandparent and a member of the Alliance for Quality Education, a statewide group of parents, people like myself. Uh, and I can tell you this, waiting for Superman, our kids can't wait. And the, the reality is, is that we know what is needed in education. We know that it's smaller class sizes. We know because we have so much research that has been done. So much money has been spent in figuring out exactly what is needed. And yet, Waiting for Superman promotes market-based approaches. And I'll tell you this, market-based approaches really didn't work when we created a housing bubble. And I'm wondering, and I'm seriously frightened, we're creating an education bubble by having, you know, by having these uh, market-based approaches. You tell me where 80%, how 80% of that is going to get my kid ready for careers, you know, careers that aren't going to be outsourced, or college, you know. I want my kid prepared for life, and this isn't getting it. Education is a right, not a privilege, and government must provide this right with a guarantee. No parent or child should have to choose which school to go to in the wealthiest society in human history. Me? I started a class war? Come on, you gotta be kidding. It was going on before I was born. Ain't even all that hidden. Oh, it might be forbidden on your corporate
Pepper Control Nightly Network News, but I'm about to bring a few reviews and make old Mr. Buffett sing the blues. Cause see, I can't really start a class war, no matter what I do. But hey, maybe the one stirring up a class war was you. When you force serfs to work your plantations, that's what started your class war.